Good morning and welcome. We're getting right into this. Back to what I love, which is butt hamstrings. We're just gonna work that glute, those sides, and those hammies to get you ready for life in general. Okay, this is gonna be kind of quick. I hope to get over this in about 25 minutes. You will be sweating. We have cardio. I'm gonna change around because I don't want to cardio to get too crazy, but yeah, let's burn that butt. We're gonna need to stretch afterwards. And while I'm on that, you guys, will you subscribe? Share this video to people that with with people that you love that you want to get into shape, who are over 40, who are moms. Just go ahead and like it, subscribe, thumbs it up, and share it. I'll keep making these videos for you guys. Okay, so let's get right into this. Grab your water. Grab two sets of weights, heavy, medium. Yeah, heavy and medium. That's what I want you guys to have and water because you're going to be thirsty and go pee if you need to. All right, let's go. Hey. Let's go. Good morning, you guys. Welcome. We are working the butt, the butt. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just we are. Let's just keep um, this simple and let's just start lunging side to side to get that inner thigh ready for what I'm about to put you guys through. No, just kidding. You know it's going to be. It's going to be hard, but you're going to be able to get through it. Now, if ever these exercises are too hard for you, go ahead and modify. What does that mean? It means just make it easier. So either take the weight off, slow the exercise down, or don't do it full out. Okay? Eventually, go all the way down, you'll get there. But right now I understand if you're just beginning and you're not there yet, okay? <sighs> Other side. Uh, oh, hamstrings killing me per usual. Other side. That's why I, I mean, I stretch them out a lot, but I work them a lot and I'm very tight in there. Let's just do a nice Plie, all the way down. Ah, uh, feels good. Let's stretch it over to one side. If you guys feel your back crack, yay. Other side. I wish I could crack my back and my neck, but I guess that's what the chiropractor's for. Arms up, stretch them up. Let's just do some baby pulses here. We are ready. Working that glute, those thighs. Feels like forever since I did a workout, so I'm so happy to be doing this with you guys now. Let's just go from side to side. Ugh. Yep, upper body, lower back. Feels really good. Let's just do five, four, three, two, and one. Come up, reach it up. We're gonna just do my all-time favorite stretch, which is like you're trying to reach over to that wall. That means your butt's not pushed up that way. You're actually trying to reach. So we have a lot of weight in the toes here. Reach over, make a nice tabletop position here if you can. Then we're just gonna bring the arms down, just relax. Clasp those hands together, or if you want, you can grab each elbow. Just kind of chill out there for a little bit. I like to move my body from side to side, kind of working out all those kinks in the hamstring, inner and outer thighs, hips, hip flexors, and then that butt, that glute. Just kind of chill here for a second. If you can touch your fingers to the ground, yay. If you can't, do not worry about it. Keep looking up. I don't want you to curve your back. And let's bend those knees. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready for this workout. <sighs> Hope you have your water because it's going to go crazy up in here. <laughs> and I have my eye on the clock. We are starting this video with our cardio, which today is going to be toe taps. We're going to jump and touch the toes like this. If that gets too hard, go ahead and just tap the toes like this. We're just going to do 20 because it's rough. I'm actually stretching out the hip flexor right now. It's kind of like a warm up because this gets rough, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do 20 of those. That's going to start us off on this beautiful workout for the butt. Okay, here we go. One, two, four, five. So 
17, 18, 19, 20. Good, you'll already feel it in your hip flexor. They should be working. Okay, you're gonna grab your weights. Fives, eights, tens. How are you feeling today? So my shoulders, we're gonna come down into a really good squat. We're gonna go down, down, up, up, and left, left, right, left, right, then alternate, right, left, right, left, then left, right, left, right. Let's go. Still alternating, staying low. So the key here, you guys, is to stay low. And then get a little pulse in there because that's going to burn out that glute. You know what I'm saying? This exercise kills me. Now, if you forget to alternate, that's okay. Pick it up where you left it. One extra lunge on your left glute is not going to kill you. Okay, let's just do five more. Ugh. Four. God damn. Huh. Three. Yes, I feel it. Two. <sighs> One. Whew. Now we're going to stay here. I'm taking a little break because I have my elbows. But I still feel it in my butt. We're going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, one, one. Squeeze it up. You should be burning bad. Burning bad right now. Okay. I'm like, oh, wow. Hello, bottom. You're alive. Okay. We got toe taps. I know you guys, but we have to push hard so we can change our body, right? And be healthy. Let's go for 20. One, twelve, okay, lunge back with a kick out, All right, grab your weights, I have twenty, I mean fives, <laughs> um, but I'm going to kick out for 20. We're going to alternate. So we're going to do a lunge back. Okay. Kick. We'll do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on. 10. All that work is in that hamstring. We're gonna do the other side. I know it's really hard. Try to keep the body up. If adding the weight's too much, take it off. But I want you to try to keep the weight on. Here we go. For 10 on this side. 10, nine, I'm not as balanced on this side. Eight, that's okay. Seven, slow it down if you need to. Six, like I am. Five. Four, three, two, oh my gosh, uh, one, good job. We have those toe taps for 20. Let's go. One, two. Ten. All right, we're going to do jumping lunges. We have a whole ton of lunges. I'm waiting for my heart rate to come down just a tinge. All right, okay, so that's the jump lunge. Okay, guys, we come up, jump it. If you can't jump it, you can just walk it out like that. Or walk it out all the way down, all the way down. We're gonna try to do the jumps for 20, 19, 18. Eight. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay down there on one side. Let's pulse it for 20, 19, 18, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're going to really feel that hip flexor stretch. Other side. For 20, 19, 18, 12, 11, 10, 9. Here, you're feeling it all right here. Touch it if you need to. No, it's working. Three, two, one. You're going to feel that all that hip flexor is going back. Come up. Oh my gosh, stretch it all out. Take a little bit of a break. Oh my gosh. Why, 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 why? Because we feel so good afterwards. All right. What's next, Sammy? All right, we're going to do jumps. Just regular jumps. We're going to add weight. I love these because they're so easy. Right? Just adding weight for 20, 19, 18, 17. change of life. If you know what I mean, put a comment below if you have any interest on in seeing a video on what I've been doing to kind of normalize, balance out my hormones for PMS, for just mood swings, for pre-menopause, menopause, hot flashes. It works. Okay. I don't have hot flashes yet. I've had one so far. <laughs> I hope it'll be another couple years for me. Please. All right. Here we go for 20, have those toe taps because I skipped them the last time and you thought I didn't remember, girl, but I did. Here we go, one, two, three. Fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> I'm laughing because my legs are like goddamn jello. Oh my God, they're shaking. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to try to be cool here, but I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Okay, guys, we have a little bit more cardio in here. Let's do some jumping jacks. Can we do 100? Start with 50. One, two, three. Ten. These are my all-time favorite exercises because they're so easy. We all know how to do them. We've been doing them since we were four. And they work every single part of the body. What I really love is they work the upper body and the shoulders, which 
We don't get a lot of stretching in the upper body. We're all hunched over all day long. Get over computers. Whew. How to wipe myself at work or wherever you may be. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's what happens when I start talking. I completely lose count of my jumping jacks. We're not done. I'm going to throw another 40 in there because I have no idea where we're at. Too busy chatting. Who cares? I can tell by my heart rate if I'm working hard enough. I'm still talking pretty easily, so I need to kick it off, right? That's a good gauge of how hard you're working. You need to be breathing hard at least. Let's do 10 more after this and 10, 9, 8, 7. Good job. All right, you guys. Stretch out those calves because mine just started burn really bad. Let's do the right one. I'm gonna come up on it, bend back, stretch it out because jumping jacks, like I said, other side, they use every part of the body and uh, calves are a big part of that. And I know we don't work the calves that much, but we need to. Calves are really important for your total body strength and in your legs, balance, the works. If you're a dancer, you know what I'm saying here. Oh my gosh, we're not even close to being done. Well, that's not totally true. Let's take one break. Take a break, so oh I don't think I took a break. I just stopped the camera for a second. Let's get right into this. This is not gonna be easy. Get your weights. Oh, I had initially thought I was gonna do heavy weights for this, but I can only do fives, because this is how my body's feeling today. Listen to your body. You wanna push it, but you don't wanna kill it. We're gonna just simply do walking squats. I'm gonna tell you when to stop. We're gonna walk to the top of the mat. Hey, and we're gonna turn around and top, walk back. Okay, now the difficulty of this exercise is going to be how low that you go. So you wanna step with your heels. Heels wanna be the first thing that land and keep on walking. Now, if you wanna slow it down, it's just gonna be harder, but just keep walking with me. Keep walking with me. Now, if you need to drop the weight at this point, go for it. Try not to. If you can keep the weight on, I would appreciate that. Or more importantly, you will appreciate that. Or your body will appreciate that. Your quads will appreciate that. Your glutes will appreciate that. And let me tell you who else is gonna appreciate that. Your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife. But most importantly, you, when you look in the mirror and you're like, Yes, I am feeling myself today because I feel strong, I feel good. When you feel strong and you feel good, it makes everything better. Okay, I'm gonna go backwards now, nice and slow. You guys burning yet? Whew, ah. Uh, okay, this is the last one because my legs are shaking. Just stay down there. Two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. Stretch it. Now, I use the wall to balance. Tuck forward. Get a chair. Anything that you need to balance. <clears throat> All right, you guys. I'm going to need you to grab your heaviest weight. So you'll give eight pounders. Maybe carry both of them. Whatever you have. You have two fives. That's good. Okay. Push your hips back, one leg forward, bring it up. I'm just stretching out that hamstring. We're taking a little break in between before we do our final butt exercise. Ha, oh, because my body's shaking. My thighs are shaking. And you know what that means. That means I'm gonna be hurting tomorrow. So that's why I'm taking this time to stretch out. Maybe I'll do a little extra stretch for us at the end of this workout. If you guys like that, let me know. Okay, grab a weight. This is a 15 pound kettlebell. Just grab whatever you have. Turn those toesies out. We're gonna come down. We did this earlier, but now we've added heavy weight. Two, three, four, just 10, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Stay down there. I know what you guys are thinking. Samantha, that's too easy. That was not killing me. You're right. You were so right. So we're going to stay down there and pulse it. This is where the work is happening. This is where the inner and outer thighs are yelling right now. Girlfriend, what you doing to me? I am working you. Tell them, get low. Stay down there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold, 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 hold. Up, 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 and squeeze that butt. You guys, you did that. Let's take a little break here. We're going to end this video. I told you it was short. Just reach over, ah, clasp those hands. I know you can't see the top of me. No worries. You guys are figuring out what I'm doing. Clasp fingers behind you. Stretch out shoulders, hamstrings. We are going to do standing abs next. Ooh, I will spit a little bit. Things happen when you're working out. The body, naturally, the body does things, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, grab your kettlebell. I'm using my 15, so if you guys have the heaviest, grab whatever you have. We're just gonna grab it in one arm. I'm gonna go down for 10, nine. You're working the side of the waist, eight, seven. You can feel it really work, six, oops, five, ugh, four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna feel this tomorrow. Get down there and hang and pulse up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can really feel that out. Find where the work is, you guys, and then stay there. Push yourself, two, three, four. I'm smiling because this workout's almost over. Six, seven. Do you guys think this is easy? Is it short? Eight, nine, 10. Now when you find the work there, pulse into it. 10, nine, eight. You should feel it all here. Seven, ooh yeah, six, five. Working those obliques. Four, three, two, one. We love that, right? We love it, okay. What do I have? Kickouts. That's our last exercise. All right guys. The reason that I'm adding these is because they actually work the abs. So we're just going to come up like you're doing a passe in ballet, but just bend the knee up and come out. So that's one, two, oh, grab a wall or a chair to balance, three, four, five, keep the body up, six, seven, eight, nine, work that ab, ten, ten more, that's ten. Nine, eight, if you start sinking, stand up. Six, five, four, three, I know it's burning. Two, one, that third, other side. Grab something to hold on to for the opposite leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, stand tall. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, ow, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, one more, twenty. Good job, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna end with some. Kick outs for 20, 20, 19, 18, 17. Really kick it. 16, 15, lean back. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Kick to the side for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We got the other side. 
How you guys doing? I actually really like this video. It's slower. Let it come down. Different. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great job, you guys. I know we didn't end huffing and puffing, but that's good. Now, I'm going to stretch you guys out a little bit. This is my stretcher band in fluorescent orange. I got this from Forever 21. And if you guys don't have a stretcher, actually use a towel. So go ahead and grab it. I'm going to pull up, stretch back. This feels amazing for the upper body. Now, you might not have the flexibility that I do to go all the way over the head. And you guys might find that you can only go here or here or even here. But if you can, this is the goal because it stretches your pecs, your upper. Oh, that feels so good. Now, this muscle in your upper pecs doesn't get stretched that much, and it's connected to your neck muscles, shoulders, and back. So if you get stiff in your neck and your back like me, this is king and queen. I'm going all the way. Oh, now, if that hurts, don't even do it. Oh, I have the flexibility to go all the way around with a band. I'll show you from the front. How are you guys doing? Thank you again for working out with me because I understand every time that you come up and switch on this video, it's not easy. You have to make a commitment to yourself to work out. You have to make a commitment to yourself to change your body, go all the way down, pull it. Even though we didn't work the arms that much, we're always working the shoulders, the upper back because we use those muscles all the time. Okay, but I'm gonna make it a little bit tighter. Pull up again and back, pull up back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So I understand. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna do a couple more stretches and I've been waiting for stretching out those quads, thighs, glutes. Let's go ahead and take this. If you don't have the stretch band, like don't worry about it, okay? Bend the left leg, right leg comes up, take the band and pull. Oh my God, that feels amazing. It totally feels amazing, you guys. I love this. Oh, then you can chop the toe if you like. Two, three, four, five. You're gonna feel that everywhere, everywhere in that hamstring. Other leg, bend it back. So, because we work that hamstring, hamstring really intensely, look up, pull it back. Oh, don't you feel it's so good? Can you lean back, push your butt all the way back? Let's tap the 10, the toe, sorry. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, feeling good, right? Now, don't need this, but you do need a wall behind you. I'm just gonna actually sit down on the wall. I'm just gonna push. This is for the outer thigh. I stretch. Oh, oh, yes. Hey, hey there. Hey there. Other side. I love this stretch for the hip and the outer thigh. Oh my God. Okay, hips. Hips carry a lot of stress. So how can you tell if your hips are really tight? You're probably stressed out, girl. Oh yes. So let's stretch them out. Okay, I'm gonna do a pigeon stretch. If you guys can't follow along, do as best as you can. First, we're gonna come into a nice, good lunge. You'll feel that all in your hip flexor. So you're gonna go ahead ooh, and lean back on that. If you guys wanna get your arms involved, I always like to get my arms involved, stretch them out, because I have so much pain in my shoulders and my neck. Now we're really stretching out that hip flexor. Now we're gonna bend this front leg and just do as best as you can, okay? Outer thigh stretch, hips, open them up, breathe it in. Feels really good. Let's do the other side, hip flexor this side, arms up, pull them. Oh, that, I just never stretch this muscle enough. The pecs, shoulders, 
all of it. Let's get it going here, guys. Okay, bend this. Ah. Now, if you guys can go all the way down to the ground, go ahead. I don't want to lose my form, so I stay kind of off the ground a few inches, but I really, really love the feeling of that stretch in my outer thigh. My knee is a few inches off the floor. Okay, we're going to come down from here. Hope you guys can still see me. Again, you do not need this. Wrap it around your toes and pull those bad boys. Get that upper body nice and straight. <sighs> Feels so good. You can move the toesies up and down. Pull back, stretch. And then you can go right over the toes if you want. Pull them right in the toes and back. Body up straight. Pull, pull. Feels really, 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 really excellent. That butt. One more stretch for the butt. Step on your stretch band. Like I said, you don't need this. You do not need this. And come down. Pull. You get a lot more flexibility here. And you get some balance with the rubber band, the stretcher. Just so you feel like you're not going to topple over and be top heavy. For me, I really love this because I get extra extension and stretch in my hamstrings is where I need it and where the top of that hamstring meets that butt is where I get real sore. I'm going to pull it out, try and stretch out that body as best that I can for five, four, three, two, one. Come down. How we started. Let it hang, girl. Let it hang. Side to side. Shake it around. You guys have just completed another killer workout for the lower body, the butt, that glute, quads, thighs, inner and outer thighs. We are done for today. Love you guys so much. Links to a ton more workout videos, over 80 workout videos for you guys to enjoy. Makeup for over 40. Fashion, I'm doing a lot more fashion. You guys are loving those hauls. Check them out. Share this video with a friend, like it, and please subscribe and tell me what you're thinking. I'm trying to grow this channel, so I wanna to get to 10,000. That's the goal, so help me get there. Help me get to 10,000. All right, guys, have a great day. Love yourself, because you are the only one who's gonna be able to do that for you, no one else. You gotta love yourself, and loving yourself starts by doing some workouts, buying yourself some flowers, you know, taking yourself out for some quiet time and really taking care of yourself because you are the only one, like I always say, you can do it. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Bye.